think I did went a little atheist when I was in high school. I just didn't think that God was real. I feel like he let me down so much, especially in my transition from, high, from middle school into high school. And I really just was like, how can people be so stupid? How can they be so led astray, like find happiness in the world, you know? And it's just, it really hit me whenever I came back. My dad really pushed, there was a while my dad was pushing me to go to church. And he was all like, you know, come to church, come to church, come to church. And then it was, I seemed like after a while, he just gave up. He didn't expect me to be there. He just knew I wasn't gonna go no matter what. I was really distraught. I was just, I didn't think I needed God. And I was just like, why? Why is everyone standing around here worshiping something? You know, it's not like it makes sense. You know, it, it's just a book. So I went to Amplify last year. I didn't actually did not think I was going to go. However, this girl really, really persisted that I go. And it wasn't for about two weeks before time, she got me in and told me I need to go. I went, I had a wonderful time that really rebuilt my relationship while I was working through my senior year. That's when I really started to rebuild my relationship and that just was a cherry on top. And now I feel like I've been working so much closer to God and I'm hoping in the future that I can be, put myself from where I am now and get them closer to God. I like the counselors. The counselors are always like, ready to help you and specifically one last year her name was Anna and she called me grumpy on the first day because I didn't think I wanted to be there I was exhausted and and she just kept go pushing on me and pushing on me and at the end of the week I actually gave my life back to Christ and I think without her help I wouldn't have taken those steps I just liked how she was just really supportive and caring and she, she made it feel like she was actually listening and she cared what you had to say um, I know a lot of times in real life, you know, people just don't care what you have to say. You can just tell by the way you're talking to them. And she genuinely cared. I think that's what touched me the most because I didn't feel like I was talking to a thin air. I like the music. I like how the music really gets you into it. They play a lot of fun dance music and you just get up. Me and the girls last year, actually, when we would get done eating, we would run over to the service venue and go and sit and get the front row seats because we liked, we liked the services that much. I really did genuinely like the services last year and appreciated what they were talking about and helping us. You learn God's there and He's on your side and you learn that you're not battling Him. You really get a sense of community and if you didn't have friends before you were there, everyone is so welcoming and open, you'll make friends by the time you leave. <laughs> Send them, make them go. <laughs> like, um, they may not appreciate it at first, but I, I definitely know that I, I loved it. It was a life-changing experience I would never, ever, ever trade.